Hey guys, it's Mel. I thought I would share in the middle of the making of my Disney cover. So I've got a million and one projects going like most of you have. Um, us crafters tend to get into like so many things, but that's the fun of it. So um, I don't know if a lot of you have had this problem before where you get... Now I love the three ring binders because when I am doing an album, I'm constantly... Um, taking in and out or adding to the order or you might want to put something back and if you remember the old screw po posts of the older scrapbook um, albums which I like them because they have a thinner profile but um, I really like these 3D although they take up more room 3D 3 ring um, the newer like American Crafts and like these type binders here um, that I have in my Expedit so I have this red album that I planned on using for my Disney album, and I am coming to an end almost. I'm almost getting it done, and I'm dying to do a walkthrough and kind of share with you guys, and as you see the year, so <laughs> I'm a little behind. Um, I never used to be so behind, but now I got uh, another little one, so as Maya got older, she would allow me to do a little more, um, but now with working and with the baby being so little and her in school, there's limited time. So I got a lot done at my last... Um, my last crop that I went to. So now I've been dying to do this cover. So I had a few ideas. I was thinking of doing a bunch of circles, like uh, little polka dots for like Minnie Mouse. And um, I thought about using black tool or um, white tool, which is what I did here. I layered it with, um, I, I love tool too, it's so pretty. So I have, I, this is just stuff I had in my stash. So I had some glitter white tool and some solid white tool and then I just layered it with two pieces and I did that here because it's sometimes with the front of these covers like they're so plain um, so I wanted to jazz it up so I added a photo here so here is us um, my hubby my daughter and me um, this was with Pluto I always want to call him goofy um, this is Pluto so that was just a picture I thought that was cute to put in there so I just printed this out with my selfie and then I use my favorite <laughs> I'm telling you I have a lot of good bargains that I get from main, like like a scrapyard or the different D-stash sites, but this is one of my favorites, if you can't tell. So these aren't on yet, and what I got the idea to do, because this was so plain, I used my Cricut, this is white vinyl, I'm going to show you the packaging. Um, I got this a long time ago from Joann's, it was like $2.30 with their big sale they had, but it's Cricut vinyl, and this color is what? Linen. And I'm glad because I have another linen that's kind of almost like tannish brown. But this is the closest I had to white. I only I only have a few colors of vinyl. And I thought maybe I can die cut my vinyl. So I whipped that out. And this was what I was talking about. This was one of my favorite. This is just one of the sheets, my magnetic sheets. Um, one of my favorite, uh, I guess, deals that I came across in the scrapyard. I think this might have been. This is uh, called Spotlight by, is it Lifestyle Crafts? It's a die, and they're huge, and I used this on my, let me see if I can find it. I used this on my tubing layout. I, can, I think it's right over here, and it is. Well, let me just get this off. So you can use it in a lot of different ways, and I had my thing stuck to it. So here's a layout that I did, and there's the tubing that I used for um, that letter. So that was the first time I used it on this tubing one. But now you see I'm using it here, and I only attached this um, the year so far. So this is the self-adhesive vinyl, and it was really easy. I just weeded out the little um, dots, um, which came out pretty easy because I cranked it through with my new purple grape plates. Um, I cranked this through my Big Shot. I just did back and then forth just to make sure that it cut all the way through since it's like two sheets, beans that it's on the backed paper where you peel off the sticky thing. So this is the only one I adhered yet. This one you see is not down yet, but I just want to um, quick film this before I did it. Just to give anybody else ideas to how, because you might have a plain one, you might just want to um, decorate and that's a quick easy way. So now I have to just peel the sticker and line them up on there. But um, this was one of my favorite deals that I got from, I think this was Scrapyard. I, I believe it was something like $10 shipped um, for this huge. And these, this is the biggest font that I have, and I'm glad that I have it because it's the only one that I have this, this large. Because I love my dyes. Sometimes you don't feel like whipping out the Cricut or you might just be worried like me, worried about it, like tearing and just, you know, running through with the mat. So some jobs are good for the Cricut and some jobs like this are good to just, you know, get what you need. So I just want to share that with you in the making. I may die cut some other, like I have tons of stuff like hearts and I have like a Mickey silhouette 
Ooh, that just gave me an idea right then. Might be cute right here. So um, I'll let you know if I change it any, but I just like to film these little things really quick just to give anybody ideas. You may be suffering from the same problem where you're like, you know, what, how can I decorate the front of this just to make it look nice? And you may already have some of these things. Like this was all in my stash, so um, I was glad to finally use my vinyl. I don't do a whole lot with vinyl. I get these ideas with vinyl, but I'm glad to be putting them to use somewhat as a beginner. So I see a lot of people do like... And we have a project coming up for my sister's wedding. We want to do monogrammed wine glasses. So I'll have to look into that and see what vinyl is best for that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do the glass etching thing. So just want to share that with you guys. And I hope you're all doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye.